And notice at the bottom is the defending NASCAR Winston Cup champion who comes into this event 43rd in the points. Last year, he was on top of the heap. But he and his teammate are up front today. Here's Dr. Punch. On the pole will be Terry Labonte, qualifying at 123.728. And alongside his teammate, Jeff Gordon, same front row as last weekend at Rockingham. In the second row, it'll there's the huge crowd on hand here this afternoon for the third race of the 96 season, our first NASCAR Winston Cup telecast. And we're ready to go. finish of 1995, 36th here last year. He's battling Bobby Hamilton for the lead here this afternoon, but in his rear view mirror, not too far behind, is the two car of Rusty Wallace. 1.3 seconds as a matter of fact, and here we have a battle for the lead on the front stretch. It's Gordon on the inside, Hamilton on the inside, and Gordon has it. And there's only 1.3 second difference between second and third towards the front. He has caught Jeff Gordon. The two Jeff. Now it's the Jeff and Jeff yeah, show. No right. longer the day on down show. Here's the push like race recap. Uh, Jeff Gordon leading 72 with the first 221 laps. Now the fact that they can't use, they can only use two air wrenches. That is a great pit stop. But there Jeff is, Gordon made a good one too, Benny. Yeah, he's the leader of the race right now. Winning as the green comes out and resumes the race on lap 359. There's still 14 cars on the lead lap. Oh, guess right, Gordon, right, right, down right down the right leader. the leader. Oh. had a DNF in his previous 17 spring race. Perfect timing once again. The green coming out just as you rejoin us. It's Jeff Burton, Ted Musgrave, and uh, Dale Jarrett. First three, then Jeff Burton, and Mark Martin, and Rusty Wallace. to put a period on Dale Earnhardt. His last Richmond race that he finished lower than 11th was in 1983 in only two of the 34 races. He's ever finished lower than 13th, but now Earnhardt is 34th, seven laps down. As the attention goes to the front of the pack and Jeff Gordon, the defending NASCAR Winston Cup champion. He's pulled out by about three car lengths over Ted Musgrave. The Musgrave, he's driving. Just a few laps remaining here. We're looking back from the Pontiac pace car to Jeff Gordon on the left and Kenny Schrader on the right. Schrader is a lap down in 14th. Jeff Gordon is the leader of the race. And we are about to go green once again. Here's Dr. Jerry Punch. Well, the Western Auto Mechanic of the race for the, for the Pontiac Excitement 400 has been announced, and it's Ed Guzzo, who is the chief mechanic. There is Ed right there holding the hand up so he can see with the sun in his eyes. Ed Guzzo with the car number 24, Jeff Gordon, our leader, who takes the green flag on the lead side. 18 laps to go. Man, I'll tell you what, okay. folks. Let me, tell, let me just tell you how hard I can tell you how hard they're racing right now. And I tell you, right there's some class by Kenny Schrader. He could have affected the outcome of this race right there. He was on the inside of his teammate, Jeff Gordon. He, he stayed down on the inside, let Dale Jarrett and Ted Musgrave. Behind the leader, Jeff Gordon. Todd Parrott down on pit road is riding every inch with his driver, Dale Jarrett. I am too. <laughs> yes, I bet you are. <laughs> there he watches him go down in turn one. Now he's got to wait that 10 or 15 seconds till he get back. <laughs> it seems like an eternity, doesn't yeah. it? He's watching that car, rocking those cars. That's Todd Parrott that you're seeing in the inset. Here he comes. Now you can see him again. I don't know if he's gaining any on Gordon or not. Gordon's car is good right now. Here's more from Bill Weber. I talked to Todd just before they went back green. I said, this is going to hurt you. You wanted the longer runs. He goes, that's right. But he goes, look at this. And he pointed at the big picture where they were in the running order and where the three car was in the running order. So if they don't get the win here today, they're looking at points, points, even though it's only race number three. Jeff Gordon. 
has led 100. Caution is out once again here at Richmond International Raceway. Didn't even run a full lap under green till we had another crash. This one up on turn number Pontiac pace car pulls off. Jeff Gordon brings them around corner number four. They get the green. That's the completion of lap 395. We restart on 396. It's Gordon, Jarrett, Musgrave, Burton, Martin, Wallace, Labonte, Andretti. And there's a big miss. Meanwhile, Jeff Gordon pulled out to about a five-car length advantage on Dale Jarrett. And here's Jeff Burton trying to pass Ted Musgrave for the third. Gordon's car is strong coming off the of turn two. He really gets a bite coming off of that turn and pulls away. This is Jeff's seventh race here at Richmond. As we continue to watch this battle between Burton and Musgrave, his finishes 10th, 6th, 3rd, 2nd, 36th a year ago at this time. He finished 6th there in the fall race. There's the three Roush cars. As the white flag is coming out, and Jeff Gordon, the defending NASCAR Winston Cup champion, who has gotten off to a horrible start in 1996, is about to win his first race of the year if he can hold off Jarrett for another half lap. Here comes the checkered flag. It's going to be Jeff Gordon winning. Jarrett second. Third goes to Musgrave. Then Burton. And then Mark Martin followed by Bobby Hamilton and then Rusty Wallace. Wow, how about that? So Jeff Gordon does get everything untracked here at the Richmond Raceway. It's his 10th career win, his last since Dover, nine races ago. Jeff Gordon pulls into victory lane and gets the monkey off of his back for 1996. Actually, it started in 1995. His average finishing position in the last six race, races prior to today, 28th. We'll check on that as Jeff Gordon takes off the helmet and revisits victory lane for the first time since Dover of last year. This is his second short track win. He also won at Bristol last year. Where's that? Brought Chevy home in front of five Fords and led 124 of the 400 laps here at Richmond International Raceway. Well, let's go down now for our McDonald's winner circle interview. Here's Jerry Punch. And, and Ray Everham comes over and gives a big congratulations to his young driver. They talked about, hey, Ray said, I told you if we just be patient, just be patient, we would be there. And they're ready now as Jeff Gordon gets ready to climb out of the car, and the fans have crowded the fences to hear. Let's take a listen. Jeffrey, congratulations. Oh, he's not going to get, this guy will never get caught after winning a race. Jeff, congratulations on a great effort. Oh, thank you, Jerry. We needed this so bad. Uh, you know, it's been a, a tough couple races. Uh, you know, we knew we had a lot of races left to go, and man, I tell you, I've been, I've been, you know, seeing the guys more. Uh, I wanted to make sure their morale wasn't getting down. I mean, I'm real, real interested in, you know, making sure this team doesn't come into this year and, and fall on its face, and, and these guys did a heck of a job. I got to say thanks to DuPont Automotive Finishes, and these Goodyear tires are great today also. Uh, you know, it's just a, a wonderful day, and Quaker State, our new sponsor. This, this is a day we've been looking for for a little while here, and we've been searching, and I tell you, it, it feels so good to be able to do this today. These guys, they needed it. I needed it. Uh, it this, this is a refreshing feeling. About halfway through the race, Rick Kendrick turned to me and said, that young man is showing so much maturity by not using up the race car and being patient. Well, we had a great car on a long run. And, you know, at the beginning, the only, we only had to deal with a couple cars. Then all of a sudden, these Fords come out of nowhere, the 99 and the 88. I, I, I was like, man, what has happened? Cause, and then I come on the race. I said, have we slowed down or have they speed up? They said, no, they, they've gotten faster. So I knew in the long run we'd still reel them in, and, and that's... That's the effort that, that Ray Evernham, these uh, Rainbow Warriors, and myself, we all put in all day yesterday in practice. We knew we had a good car, uh, you know, and, and we came here and, and we did the best that we could with it. And uh, today, you know, having a win, I, I got to thank God. This uh, God has been with me uh, through the ups and the downs. And uh, it was difficult for two races to finish uh, back in the 40th uh, place uh, back there anyway. And uh, I think that he's really been with me, especially today. And that's bad. That's all history, right? It's all gone. 40 second and 40, that's all history. Well, we moved up quite a bit in points anyway. But... <laughs>
Oh, the monkey's off their back as he gets a big hug from Carl and Rick yes. Hendrick and Jeff Gordon back in Victory Lane here in 1996. Now, let's show you what resulted in what we saw just a few minutes ago. Defending Winston Cup champion Jeff Gordon claimed his first victory of the season. It was the 10th victory of Gordon's young career. 